Okay, so we've talked about the fundamental theorem of calculus and how it it authorizes us to do integrals the way that we normally do. And a detail about it that doesn't come up real often is that a function must be continuous for the fundamental theorem to work, or for an integral to work. Most of the functions that we give you are continuous, but if you get one that has skips in it like this, you cannot just do an integral from 0 to 12 here and expect it to work. Now that doesn't mean you can't integrate it, you just can't blindly go integral 0 to 12 and expect it to run over these hiccups without any trouble. What you can do though, is say, okay, well, if I have to integrate continuous pieces, this function is continuous on the interval 0 to 4, so I can do an integral from 0 to 4, and then I can do another integral that goes from 4 to 7, and then I can do yet another integral that starts at 7 and goes up to 12. And when I'm done, I can add up those integrals. So if you can't go from 0 to 12 in one smooth flow, then no problem. As long as there's a finite number of integrable pieces, you can do them separately and then just work out a total at the end. So anytime they're talking about the fundamental theorem of calculus or about integrals, my, my professor used to start sentences by saying, if a function is continuous on the closed bounded interval a to b and differentiable on the open interval a, b, then and then you'd get to the good stuff about how the integral was able to work. So it's easy to forget those disclaimers, but we always have to assume that our functions are continuous, meaning that they're smooth, you could draw them in one piece without taking your pencil off the paper, and that they're differentiable, meaning they don't have vertical spikes in them. If they do, then that can throw off an integral as well. But the main concern is they must be continuous, and if they're not, then you get to slice them up into a bunch of pieces that are continuous, and then you can carry on.